All right, welcome back guys to another build series here. So today we're doing something uh, something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. So back behind me there, you can see that's the uh, that's the pole building there that uh, whenever I bought this place, that ha that was the pole building that was on this property. So it's a 24 by 32 pole building and it's 12 foot tall. Um, now, that's a good sized building, but it's just not big enough for me. Um, I, whenever I bought this place, the, uh, the building, it didn't have any vapor barrier on the, on the roof metal as well as it just had a rock floor in it. So over the years, I've taken the roof off, uh, I've put a vapor barrier down, and I've also poured a pad inside of the, uh, inside the building. So now it's time to, to add on. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to double the size of my building here. And what I'm going to do is, I want a shop area. Uh, right now, I've got that whole building is just full of stuff, and I don't have any room to, to have a shop area. So, we're going to double the size of it here. Uh, I'm basically going to build a three sided lean to that's connected to that building, and, uh, and it'll be good storage. So, first things first, we're going to uh, prep for the pad. I'm going to pour a pad under this, uh, and then we're going to build on top of it. So, basically, this is going to be. Uh, it's going to be like a post frame structure, but I'm going to use brackets rather than uh, brackets that are anchored to the slab rather than your traditional posts that are either sunk in the ground and cemented in or piers poured with brackets on top of it. So this is just an easier way to do it. The brackets you get in, you end up with like a big nine inch by three quarter inch lag into a bracket. They hold great. So this is going to be slab on grade, but then the whole perimeter is going to be thickened. So that way I'll have good, good meat to put my lag into. So. First things first, we got layout. Uh, rough footprint here, you can see that line right there. I'm gonna double the size of it. Right now, I just shot it in with the laser and I'm about, uh, round about nine inches, nine, 10 inches uh, below finished floor. So, what I'm gonna do is, that's not too awful bad. What I'm gonna do is I rented a skid steer. I'm gonna come in here with a skid steer. I'm gonna peel off the sod, and I've got a, a pile of rock here behind me. That's left over from whenever I, uh, whenever I poured the floor in my building. I knew I was gonna add on at some point. And uh, eventually, like I said, this is all going to be rock. Once this pad is established, I've got a carport that I'm gonna put right next to it. And that's all gonna be rock. And then back behind you guys, I'm just gonna, have a big rock drive so where I can come in with my big boat pull in and, and back in. So it should be pretty uh, pretty nice once I get done. All right, so first things first, we're gonna prep the pad here. I'm gonna come in with skid steer, I'm gonna pull the sod off of it. Best way to do it, I'm gonna throw you guys up on a time lapse. I'm gonna get my belt off, jump in a skid steer, and, uh, and we're gonna move some dirt here real quick. So hopefully this will all turn out good. I wanna pour this thing first thing tomorrow and to limit this build um, I'm gonna do everything myself so I don't have to have to pay labor costs so nothing really hard about this uh, pretty simple straightforward just a little bit of work so let's jump right in it guys all right so peeled all the sod off of this thing here I just shot it in again with the laser and right now I'm averaging like 10, 10 and a half inches or so. And I really don't want to buy any more rock than what I have here. Um, I don't need a tandem load and I want to do all my other parking lot in like CA6. That's one inch clean. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I really only want like a couple inches of rock, which is just what I've got there, kind of a skim coat. So I've got a big clay bank down there and I'm going to go down there and haul dirt in and I'm going to build this whole pad up with good clay. Uh, another four inches or so. I'm gonna go uh, get some good clay. I peeled the sod off, I'm down to good dirt there. We're gonna track that clay in, get good compaction out of it, and skim it off with the rock. So we're gonna go down here and, and pull, uh, pull some clay out, a good clay bank there. All right guys, so you guys saw me working that pad up. Now some of you guys are probably gonna be saying, well, why would you pull the sod off uh, if you're gonna build it up. Well, simple fact is organic matter like sod is squishy, right? And as it dies, um, if I was just to throw dirt on top of that and pack it down, it could create a void as it decomposes. 
and then you know that void the the base would settle underneath my pad and that could cause some issues you know with it cracking or settling or things like that so we want to get down to good solid uh good solid dirt and then we'll build it up so that's what i did there that's good clay you guys saw me running back and forth of it uh you know quite often i i was just taking just like you know half inch to one inch lifts because i don't have anything but the skid steer to pack it in so and then uh, right there at the end i think the time lapse died but i took a big bucket of rock got the skid steer as heavy as i could and then ran it back and forth so we're just right here for three inches of rock on top of this and then our five inches of concrete um so anyway that's the pad right here it's ready to go and uh, i'm going to to go ahead now because i'm going to dig the thickened edge and it's a little low right along the edge and that's fine because i'm gonna have a lot of dirt whenever i gotta dig it in by hand uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to the edge of the building. That's going to be my uh, my starting line. I'm going to string all the way down that building, and then that way that'll give me a good straight line. I can get my form set at least on this side here, so I know where I need to dig because I don't want to have to do any more digging than I have to since uh since it's all hand digging. So my lines up. Got my form set there uh, on two sides. I'm gonna use the building as the fourth side and I didn't set the other side here because I'm gonna come in here and do some dirt work so you can kind of see now what I was talking and I was basically trying to eliminate as much hand digging as I could so I, I left it low here you guys can see the, the bottom of the form uh, and I wanted to be about 10 inches or so and you can see I'm pretty consistent and you can't really I bring you down you can see I'm low I'm, I'm pretty pretty low all the way through there and so what I want to do now is now that I've got my form line established, uh, now I can come in and I can bring dirt on the back side to hold the concrete from blowing out, as well as I can bring dirt here into this last three, four feet uh, and kind of make a, you know, I'm making a trough. I'm making a thickened edge basically all the way through here and uh, get it back up to grade. Everything else is, the rest of the pad is pretty much to grade. Uh, and then I can start bringing rock in here and uh, and you guys will kind of see how it comes together but like I said I didn't want to have to build everything up and then dig it out by hand uh, so I left this open area here on this end I may end up leaving it open anyway so I can get a truck in here to pour it but uh, yeah it just kind of eliminates the hand dig and it's a little bit more kind of running around but uh, you know it's a lot better than than hand digging so anyway i have to clean up this edge here so i'm gonna dowel it since i am going to tie this roof system into each other i want to i want the two pads tied together in a little some way so anyway there we have it uh that's first form line up so as you guys can see it's going to be quite quite a ways above ground uh and i kind of want that so you guys will kind of see what i'm talking about here uh once you bring that bracket to the edge, whenever you put your wall purlins on, everything will just run down flush, and you'll end up with your batter board right on your concrete. Uh, and and then that way that makes a good seal, you know, wrap board, batter board, whatever you guys want to call it. But yeah, we're gonna do some work on the exterior here, push some dirt around, and then uh, throw some dirt on the inside, pack it down, and they'll be ready for rock. Just about done here with this uh, plastic and wires. All I got left to do here. Uh, let me step back here. You guys can kind of see. You guys can kind of see here. So that area right there. That's what I've been talking about. That's that thickened edge, uh, and it goes all the way around. And that's where my brackets are going to sit. They're going to sit right on the edge, just an inch and a half off the pad. Uh, and you can see there, it's there's concrete gonna be, uh, you know, 10 inches thick or so, all the way around the perimeter. So that's good. Uh, backfilled all the way around it to keep it from blowing out. So anyway, I got the rock in here. I got the rock in here. Um, we're at grade. Got to grade it all out, and uh, now we're ready for plastic and wire. So we put plastic down. This is going to be under cover, right? So it's going to be uh, not exposed to the elements. And so we got to put plastic down because if any of you guys have ever been in like a 
like an old building and you know early spring or fall you know whenever you get these real funny temperature swings you'll see that concrete sweat so concrete's porous right and if you don't put some sort of a vapor vapor barrier down it'll actually draw water up from the ground and that's what you see concrete sweating uh, so to mitigate that you know we we put plastic down and then that gives that vapor barrier that that water can't penetrate through that through that plastic and your concrete doesn't sweat so anyway put that and then uh, we're gonna lay some wire mats in here and uh, we will be about ready so hopefully I'm by myself and hopefully the wind doesn't pick up because it seems like every time I say the word plastic the wind picks up but yep so we got the one form left out uh, it's just too far of a stretch I'm gonna pour this whole pad by myself so I'm gonna uh, have a little bit of work ahead of me doing that so I want to make it as easy as possible we're gonna leave this header out and then uh, we're gonna just back the truck up in here dump them out and then that should get them halfway and then in between the, the trucks I can throw that header form up and then we can finish finish out the pad so anyway nothing really complicated about this I got to drill some rebar in the, uh, the existing pad tie it in just a little odds and ends to finish up here uh, got the pad built up real nice one inch clean going in so got her all packed in uh, it's looking good I'm happy with it so anyway I'm gonna get the plastic rolled out get the wire get all that because I'm gonna try to pour it first thing in the morning before it gets hot uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of a challenge because of the way the Sun it's all gonna kind of go off in different stages just because of the way the shade hits it but you know whatever we'll uh, we'll get her done so anyway Set you back up and see if I can't make myself look like a fool trying to put this giant piece of plastic down by myself. About got everything in, uh, about ready here. I, uh, I ran out of plastic, so I ended up having to run to town and get plastic and I, uh, I got the troweling machines and everything, so I'm just about ready to go here. Uh, I got to put down a little bit more plastic there and throw another piece of wire in. I'm going to leave that wire out there so where the truck can back in there, and then I'll just throw it in uh, after he drives out. So, anyway, just about done here this evening. It's getting getting fairly dark for you guys, but uh, I'm going to piddle around here just a little bit longer and... Uh, Kind of get things just squared away, ready to go for the morning. Hopefully we can get this poured uh, early in the morning. It's going to be like 94 degrees tomorrow. So I like to get it poured early and, uh, you know, get it get it done before the heat really gets at it. So anyway, guys, I think we'll call it here for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is uh, this was kind of building the, the building pad and the pad prep and forming. And, you know, this is just kind of all the stuff that you got to do before you get the concrete. So... Uh, anyway, the next video here will be me trying not to screw this 24 by 36 pad up that I'm going to attempt to try to pour completely by myself. So uh, it wouldn't be bad, but it, I'm going to burn it in. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you guys then.